Hey everybody, it's Murphy Gray Hunter and I am back. Oh, sorry for the shaky. I bought a new uh, clip. A clip, um, what do you call that? Tripod. Tripod, there you go. I'm going to be doing another review on some Oracle cards. These are the Isis Oracle cards by Alana uh, Fairchild. These are really big. If y'all saw the last video, Look how much bigger they are than my um, other cards. And I thought these were big. Okay, so let's go through these. Okay. Now, I really want to learn how to work these as well. This has a humongous um, manual. And this is just like the other one. Sorry, guys, it's upside down. This is my my second time using this tripod, so I'm gonna it's gonna give me it's gonna give me a nervous breakdown, I swear. <laughs> Till I learn how to use this correctly. But anyway, this has a um, instruction book manual, and this shows you some spreads, you know, just like the normal manual, you know. Now here are the cards. These are um, these have um. Why can I not see? This doesn't tell me how many cards are in here. But if it's like any any other Oracle cards, then they are 44 cards in here. Most Oracle cards are 44 cards. This is the back of the cards. Super, super sweet. These cards are really glossy. I love that. And like the last cards, I am going to... Um, show y'all each card because they are just too gorgeous to just not show y'all the cards. You can see how super glossy they are. Um, so ready, here we go. I mean, just look at these pretty cards. Oh, I hate when I don't have them all set up right. Hey Jay, can you do me a favor and turn off the overhead light? Maybe that'll make it a little better. What that light up there? The ceiling fan light, please. No, baby, on the wall. Turn the switch up on the wall. There you go. There we go. Thanks. That might be a little better. So that one. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful one. I don't know how to do this without showing a glare, but there we go. Like I said, these are just too pretty not to show. Um, I have I have not done a reading with this. Uh, never had these cards for a while. Um, again, this was actually I bought these last year at Pagan Pride. Pagan Pride is about to happen um, in a couple, well, in, in a few weeks, like in about another two weeks here uh, in Austin, and um, so I've had them about a year already. I've taken them out several times and um and I you know uh looked oh look at this lapis lazuli oh my gosh did y'all know that um Egyptians they used to take the lapis lazuli and they used to crush it and they used to use it as eyeshadow because it, it's a beautiful blue color and it has like bits of gold anyway you know how I am with fun facts and useless information <laughs> Anyway, I've taken this out several times to do some readings on them, and um, I just, I just, I haven't. I, I do pick a card every other, every other, you know, day. I'll take it out and I'll pick a card just for myself. Um, I don't know. There's something about this deck that is really, um, uh, I don't know, mysterious, maybe. You know, card readers, you guys know when you get a deck, you have some decks that you get that are that are really fun and give off this fun vibe, or you get some cards that, that give you a very serious vibe, or some that you you know maybe I'm just, I don't know I don't know if that sounds kooky or not, but that's how I feel about when I get certain cards um, and certain decks. You know, um, I have there's always an emotion tied to that deck okay baby and when I get when I pick up this one 
I always feel like there's like some sort of um, mystery. Um, I can't put my finger on it. I really cannot put my finger on it what it is that the vibe that I get from these cards. I don't know if it's a good vibe or it's a bad vibe. It's just some it's just like one of those it's a vibe that has no meaning. I don't know if that that means anything to to you guys. Um, you know, um I just it's like it's it's like it's like um tasting something and it has no flavor so you cannot explain to someone what it tastes like because it has no flavor to it and it, it doesn't take anything away from these cards i think they're beautiful and i'm going to use them i just think that maybe uh, i'm going to read a little more about these cards and give them the respect that they are definitely telling me that they want and so i will give it to them so, but they are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards. If you guys are very into Egyptian things, my oldest daughter is very, very into Egyptian things. Um, this is the, um, this is a, this is a, a beautiful deck to add to your collection. Um, I love Egyptians. I love the whole culture. I love the beauty of the people, the beauty of the of the culture itself. Um, but there's just I don't know. I, I really cannot explain it. Um, Egypt is one of the places that I would love to go and visit. Oh, I almost said did I get two of the same cards in here? No. Anyway. Again, if you guys are looking for a great um, Egyptian um, set, this is the Isis Oracle. And um, like I said, these are by Alana Fairchild. And um, like I said, I, you know, um, maybe it's the whole fact that they it's Isis. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm definitely going to give um, this... Uh, this deck it's uh respect and love that it's it's definitely telling me that it wants and i'm going to i'm going to read this and then do a little research on the deck um and i'm going to do another cleansing on these deck on this deck here and i don't know maybe um burn some egyptian musk with it and um maybe put my lapis lazuli on top of them i don't know um it's definitely telling me that it that it wants something. All right, guys. As always, love y'all and bless it be. Bye.